How's everyone doing? Today we're going to talk about detoxing the body. And this goes along with uh, the detoxing herbal box that I'm creating. And we're just going to talk about a lot of things involving that. Alright, we're going to get started. I'm going to invite some people in the room. So just give me a moment. All right, and if you are in here, just invite others. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of things. I don't know, it might bore you, it may not, but we're going to start in a moment. Like I said, I'm just inviting others in the room. So give me just a moment, all right? Just a few more people are going to be uh, coming up here, all right? We're going to get started soon. I'm just inviting more people in here. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's see. We got a few more people. Okay, okay. All right. Also, you can invite people to come in the room as well. Uh, we're going to talk about, again, um, detoxing the body, okay? And you're going to want to hear this because mm -hmm. it is very, very, very important. Hello, dear father in love. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think more people will come in. All right, so what we're going to talk about is detoxing the body. Hello, Erlaine. Um, so we know that um, creating a detox box is going to have several mm -hmm. herbs that's going to help you to detox your whole body. And so I kind of want to break it down and show you guys. It might be a little boring. Because um, I took some time to kind of write these things out. Alright, so let me turn the camera around. Alright. Can you guys see this? Just let me know in the comments really quickly before I um, get started. Just let me know really quickly if you can see this or not. Before I do get started. Hello there, Miss Rogers. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. And thank everyone for um, joining. Okay. So I'm going to get started. I'm assuming you guys can see it. Alright, so we're going to talk about detoxing. What is detoxing? Okay. I don't know if you can see this up here. But it's basically restoring your body from uh, addictive toxins. You're going to be restoring your body from toxins or releasing your body from toxins. Okay? It's a bit small. Okay, maybe I can... Um, let me do this. Let me... All right. A little better? All right, so... Now, inside of the herbal box, we're going to use, let me do this. I'm going to make it a little better for you guys. Give me just a second. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to make it a little better for you guys. And I'm going to just get up close so you can see. All right, so. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rogers. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're gonna so when we're detoxing the body, we're just gonna be restoring your body from toxins, okay, as you can see that. All right, so what type of herbs do we need to detox our body? So we're gonna use um, 
alterative herbs. If you can see that. Now, what those type of herbs do is support the healthy function of your digestive system. Okay? And your digestive system is very, very important when it comes to the functionality of your body. And we get many diseases because of our digestive system. Okay? So, now we want to know what makes up the di digestive system. All right? And that consists of your mouth, your stomach, the small intestines, and then your colon, your liver, your gallbladder, pancreas, and also your brain. Okay? I'm just going to show you a diagram really quickly so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right? So, the digestive system, as you can see, the pancreas, your liver, your small intestines, your stomach, your mouth, and of course, this is leaving out the brain, but that is part of it too, okay? So, as you can see, I'm, I'm really going to break this down because I want to explain so you can understand how, you know, to detox your body. You can leave questions as well, okay? So... In your mouth, that starts digesting, uh, you know, digesting your food with your saliva. So it starts to break down um, the carbohydrates and the fats, you know, it digests it. All right, then your stomach, okay, it begins to break down, it begins to break down um, the protein. And then your small intestines, okay. And it completes protein, fats, carbohydrates, um, and it also is the place where all of these things become absorbed. So the food that you have starts in your mouth, goes to your stomach, gets the protein, and then your small digest digestion, um, that's where it completes all of those things. And also, this is where it absorbs the nutrients. And this is where a lot of people have problems, is absorbing the nutrients that they need. Okay? So then you have your colon. So with your colon, you know, it reabsorbs fluids. I'm right here. It reabsorbs fluids and eliminates waste. That is a major issue for people. We don't get enough fluids, and we have problems eliminating the waste. So I'm going through this because this is a part of detoxing your body, and it's going to go down the line here, okay? So then we have the liver. This is what makes up your digestive system, as you can see. So then we have the liver, okay? So this is where your liver um, functions. So... It screens all the nutrition, the rich blood, from your GI. Uh, so it screens it for toxic material, okay? It produces bowel, which, um, you know, it's good for the fat. Um, you digest the um, fat, okay? So then it goes down to your uh, gallbladder. And this is where it's really, really important. The liver, the um, gallbladder, and the pancreas. It all works together. But the gallbladder, it stores and releases bowel into your small intestines, okay? Then the pancreas, it releases fats, carbs, proteins, and digesting enzymes. And it also produces insulin. So it all works together. And then your brain, I picked this because most of the time your brain controls your appetite. You know, you smell food, you think of food, it prepares your body to eat, okay? So all of these things here are what makes up the digestive system. And we're going to go through, you know, why these things are important when it comes to detoxing how they should be functional, 
uh, because when there's an issue with um, one of these, it's because of your digestive system, and you can have some alarming health concerns, okay? All right, so we talked about what makes up the digestive system. We talk about all of those and what it does. Now we're going to go here with, um, this is, should say healthy, digestive system. Okay, a healthy digestive system, it absorbs nutrients. Uh, it has digestive secretion, which means it breaks down food and vitamins, okay? That's your liver, your gallbladder, and um, the bowel secretion. This is necessary to digest fats and eliminate excessive cholesterol, okay? See, a lot of people deal with a lot of chronic illness or disease. You may deal with high cholesterol, and you don't think that is due to an issue in your digestive system because, like I told you, all these things work together, okay? So your liver, your gallbladder, um, this bowel secretion is needed because it eliminates excessive cholesterol, okay? And it also keeps you moving, keeps your bowels moving. And this is the most important thing here. It increases iron and calcium absorption. A lot of you are very tired. A lot of you are very tired. Think about that. Your digestive system is supposed to absorb all the nutrients that it needs and it carry out those nutrients to your bloodstream, okay? So that's why that's important. Okay, another thing about um, a healthy di digestive system is it eliminates any type of toxins in your body, okay? You're supposed to have a healthy elimination, meaning when you go to the bathroom, okay? This helps to avoid the reabsorption of toxins. And if you're not, you know, going to the restroom often, that is really, really hard on your liver, you know, your liver, like we um, were saying here, what the liver does, it screens all the nutrition, rich blood from your tra uh, GI tract, and also, you know, detoxify any toxic um, material, okay? So, here are some health concerns. Cirrhosis, gallbladder. Might get gallstones. You may feel nauseated. And as you can see, it may be because you have a, a poor liver function. You may have acid reflux, diarrhea, which is basically like an infection, um, constipation, hepatitis. Many of you didn't know, know that, and that has to deal with your liver. All of this affects your body, your digestive system, your liver has to function, the colon, the gallbladder, your pancreas, people who have uh, diabetes. Um, you have to focus on a healthy digestive system because your pancreas plays a big part of it producing the insulin. Okay? So, let's go down here. We're going to talk about the uh, what we say here, alterative herbs. Okay? Okay, so alterative herbs, it stimulates, it tones, uh, regulate, and um, it regulates the eliminative organs. Okay? Eliminative organs. So... These are eliminative organs. So the herbs that we're going to use to detox are going to work on these organs here, which are the liver, 
the kidneys, your bowels, lungs, and the fatted system. Okay? And what these organs do, do is it basically helps to uh, basically eliminate any toxins that's in your blood or your urine, things like that. Okay? And what are some of those herbs? What are the uh, alternative herbs? As you can see, some of them here are burdock root, rutabur, golden seal, nettle leaf, kelp, red clove, ginger, sarsaparilla, uh, yellow dock, dandelion, echinacea. It's a lot of these. And they are going to help stimulate and tone those organs. They may be having issues, you know, helping you to um, detox, okay? So we're going to look at what herbs are going to be in that herbal box and why. We have a regularity formula. We talked about your digestive system. It is important that you stay regular because if you can't, you know, go to the restroom properly, you're just having waste sit there and then your body or your intestines is just reabsorbing this toxin. And now you have problems with your liver because you can't move yourself. And so this regularity formula has different herbs. It's, it's like nine different herbs that's formulated to help you uh, to keep going. So you have to have um, your system, your digestive system, your colon has to be in a cycle where you're always eliminating and nothing sitting there, okay? So we're going to work on your digestive health with that. Then your detox tea. This is going to have, oh, it has several different herbs in there that basically helps your kidney and your livers. Helps your whole body, but when you start to take this detox tea that's formulated with different herbs, you're going to notice that you're um, urinating a lot, okay? So it's cleaning out your blood, um, your lymphatic system, your liver, um, all of those things. And it's providing your body with the, um, you know, the nutrients that you need. Then we're going to have blood support. Okay. Oops. Okay, that's a little. Okay, there we go. The blood support. Okay, we're detoxing. We uh we need to make sure that our red blood cell counts is up. We need to make sure that our immune system is up while we're detoxing. Okay, so that's why we have the blood support, which is a a a, a formula. Um, that I have that I'm going to be making specifically for this herbal box that I'm putting together. Okay, we want to make sure that our our blood is clean and that it can fight off any type of disease while we're going or virus or uh, bacteria while we're going through this detox. Okay, so we want to build a healthy immune system. Then we're going to have sea moss. Now, this is going to be in a capsule form, okay? Now, we're going to have the sea moss specifically because we want to make sure that our bodies is getting the minerals. And we know that it has 92 out of 102 minerals. Well, you'll probably get all the minerals. You'll probably get 102 minerals because... This blood support formula, it actually has um, burdock root in it as well. 
So burdock root and sea moss gives you 102 of those minerals. So we're trying to create a healthy body. And we have to do that by having, you know, a healthy digestive system. These herbs that's in these formulas are going to help your digestive system to absorb all the nutrition that it needs for you to have in whole a healthy body. So you don't have to deal with issues like constipation, diarrhea, acid reflux, hepatitis, all of these things, gallstones, everything. It's a lot of issues that stem from an unhealthy digestive system. Like I mentioned before, cholesterol as well. So, now, though I'm talking about these herbs that's going to help you with detoxing your body and building your body up so that you can have a healthier digestive system, you probably start to lose weight. Your skin will probably become clearer. You'll probably have a lot more energy than before, too. Now, along with this, it's very important because you do all of these things to get on the right track, and then you have a poor diet, you're basically not doing anything for yourself. Because the end goal is not just to take herbs. We want to take herbs because we're having issues with uh, our organs or we have certain, you know, ailments. We want to eventually get off of the herbs and just focus on having a good diet so that you don't have to worry about taking these if you don't need them, okay? Now, this a good diet for your digestive system will consist of lots of water, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals minerals and your dietary fibers okay these vitamins and minerals um, are basically going to come from plants so that means a lot of fruits and vegetables you know we talk about it all the time we 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 need healthy protein so you want if you if you do eat meat you want to get those healthy proteins you can get them from beans as well um but those healthy proteins from clean meats like fish and chicken, turkey. Beef is a clean meat, but you might want to stay away from that because it's so hard to digest, okay? It's very, very hard to digest. Um, so the goal, the end goal here, we want to get better, okay? I can't say cure, but we want to get better. These herbs are going to put you on the right path. It's going to strengthen your system. It's going to help your organs, okay? Now, these things do take time, so you have to be patient with yourself and go through the process. It's going to help you, but only if you help yourself. You're going to have to have a good diet while you're doing this, okay? So if you smoke, you drink alcohol, you're eating a lot of junk food, sweets, a lot of processed foods, it's going to be hard on your organs, okay? These are going to help your organs, but you also have to help yourself, all right? So we want to get off of these and just focus on a good diet so you don't have to worry about getting these things okay all right so let me turn it around here okay so i hope you guys got a lot of good information if you want to ask me questions now is the time so we have let's go there and we have four different herbs that we're going to use that's going to uh, be in this herbal box might be a fifth one, but I don't know yet. And I'm, the fifth one that I'm thinking about is um, the oolong tea because it 
helps with your uh, metabolism and it does give you a lot of energy you need that energy throughout the day but these here are going to give you energy but with it you have to have a good diet you got to help yourself because we want to eventually stop taking pharmaceuticals we want to stop taking herbs and we just want to focus on having a healthy lifestyle and that's with your that's with your uh your food you just have to make the right choices in food okay so that's all i have for you guys today now if like i said if you have questions put them in the box here if this was um some good information for you you know give me a thumbs up give me a comment let me know uh one other thing too i do want to ask of you guys is if you have um purchased any products from me if you could please 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 go to the earth for health facebook page and um go ahead and rate it this helps other people know you know i'm a real business and there's people trying the product i have like two reviews already but that would help a lot um so that has been today's information next thing i want to talk about is um uh, lung health lung support there's a lot of people who have breathing issues and their immune system is quite low they have issues with breathing or even um, catching pneumonia. Some people that just catch this pneumonia all the time. The prices of the boxes are $29.99 and it's a subscription. Yes, the detox box will be like herbal capsules and tea. So that's what's in that. Herbal capsules and tea. Well, what makes it, it makes it easier, excuse me, it makes it easier for you guys to take it on the go as well. So, I'm going to tell you, when you do receive this, you want to, uh, you know, do a routine with it so that uh, you could just get used to it. Because you want, this is supposed to last you for a whole month, Okay. So it's going to have at least 30 tea bags in there, you know, the regular 60 count capsules and stuff like that. And what do you mean? You said a five day or a seven day? Not sure what you mean. Are you meaning like, is the detox of five to seven day thing because you said or do you take it any way you like um i'll say this with this this uh detox spot it's supposed to last you a whole month okay so if after a month you've taken the herbs and you had a healthy diet with it and you see some results and you feel like you know I think I'm good I don't have to I don't have to um take these herbs anymore I, my body feels great you don't have to continue your subscription just cancel it however if you feel like I think I need another month then continue but um these uh the alter rate of herbs i will say it, it's also a slow working herb but when they are mixed with other herbs it does work faster so that's why we, i have a mixture of these things but we want to stick to it so you can see results and feel results um but the diet is gonna play a big part in this whole thing so I hope I answered your question there. Um, also, what you, you said, I was wondering. 
Oh, the ones in the store is five to seven days. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was just saying that it is basically supposed to last you 30 days. So you're supposed to have 30 days of supplies here a whole month because herbs takes time to work. Um, I'm not sure what they have in the store, but herbs do take time to work. And because herbs take a long, well, I'll say uh, alternative herbs like we talked about, those days really help restore your organs. It helps restore your body to where it's supposed to be naturally. So it's not going to harm you. Uh, but inside the box, you'll have some information on, um, you know, how to take it and a, di a good diet, a suggestive diet that's going to be up to you and things like that. And um, also, you have the packaging to see what herbs you are taking. But that's all I wanted to come up here and say. This is probably very long. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed the information. Again, please go to Earth for Health uh, Facebook and leave a review. Thank you guys for tuning in and supporting Earth for Health. Y'all have a good day.